In the build show today, guys, we're talking about air barriers. You know, it's super important to build an airtight house, but I think a lot of builders are confused as to what's the air barrier and how do we get continuity on the air barrier. On this best of the build show, my buddy Steve Basic, who's an architect in Boston, who does a fabulous job with a character he calls Big Red, which is basically his Big Red Sharpie, is gonna show us and help us as builders to really understand what is that red line? Where does that air barrier go? And how do we maintain that continuity? With that being said, air barriers and my buddy Steve Basic, let's get going. Hello, Build Show Network. Steve Basic, architect here. We're out on a job site here. Shoreline Builders doing a beautiful job. But uh, today we're going to talk about a simple concept you've heard me mention before inside versus outside so we're here this is the front entry you can see there's a little little jog here in the wall where it comes out and we got our new front door there with our nice wall sconces and then we have our porch roof here well the porch roof is outside unconditioned space but it's being attached to a house that is inside conditioned space so let's take a look at this you can see we have our insulating sheathing and it goes up. If I move in here a little closer, you'll notice it goes up and it goes underneath the ledger. We have our little slope Simpson hangers that grab on those rafters. But the idea is we built the green box first here, and then we attached our ledgers, ceiling joists, rafters, ledger, everything. And then even on the little bump out here, you can see this one actually has a top to it, but it is fully sealed up and insulated in there. So it's very clear that out here is outside. On the inside of that sheathing is the inside. We have what, you know, Joe would call the red line test. Here you see it in 3D. It's the green box test, I guess, here. We can uh, migrate that name a little. But uh, anyways, let's jump back to the studio and uh, we'll talk about this a little bit more in depth and we'll get Big Red involved. I'm sure uh, there's some discussions there to be had. So we'll see you back at the studio. So as you can see, nice wall section here. Uh, cut it out of the building section. But uh, what are we looking at? Well, you can see this is the Zip R6 there goes there and zip r6 there we have our floor frame here with our mud sill another rough sill it's our wall cavity and we have our double hung window and uh, header assembly floor frame wall frame there like i said there's our sheathing and in this case it's r6 here we have the, the deck down below, porch deck. These are the columns out to the porch deck. I like to do a little cross section to see what that looks like in the breakup of the column there. It's a nice little detail, header and porch soffit, porch ceiling, porch roof goes up. And then we have another window on the second floor that second floor frame up above there but the interesting thing is you know i drew a bunch of red lines but um oh and this is that bump out at the front entryway there and then the foundation beyond so that uh coastline's in and out but what you don't see is this goes up into that floor frame like that and that also has the r6 on it down there but anyways you know joe steber would always talk about the red line test and the red line test was a very simple test and that you should be able to trace around your building section and it should close and when it closes you should have defined what is inside and what is outside Right, so in the little diagram, 
Well, it looks very simple, but I can't tell you how many projects I've gone out and the difference between inside and outside becomes a big question mark. And we just don't know um, whether it's inside or outside. Uh, I went to a project probably, I don't know, six years ago, five, six years ago. Gentleman said, hey, Steve, you got to come check out this project, what we're doing. We're using insulating sheathing. We're doing all this stuff. Builders killing it, doing a great job. And I walked upstairs. And when I stood upstairs here, I could look out the framing and I could see into the attic of the porch. And so there was nothing here as far as sheathing goes. And I said, hey, what's happening there? Oh, um, yeah, they, they stopped and... They had sheathing there, and they had sheathing here. They just had nothing in between. Um, but if we want to stay true to that continuous line, then what we really need to do is develop a concept or a design where you build the red box. Or in this case, we use zip R6. It could be the green box. But you build the box... Let's throw some ground on there. And then all the stuff that we add on, if you have a back porch, you add the back porch on top of the box. You add the front porch to the box. But you do not challenge or interrupt the box. It's a pretty simple concept. I know. And my voice is already starting to sound frustrating because I think of all the times where I walk on job sites and I don't see this simple concept illustrated in the construction. Build the box and then add stuff to it. So let's look at what we did here. We built the box. We framed the wall. We sheathed it. Put the windows in and we sheathed it. And that sits over the foundation. And the foundation's insulated. And we had our insulation in the wall, the band joist, through the header assembly, all of that. But we basically built that wall. But more importantly, we built that red line. That red line is the zip R6, which is right there. And if you notice, the ledger and hanger assembly is outside of the red line. Right, The ceiling joist attachment and ledger is outside of the red line. Right? Guess what? If we look down here and we see the porch deck and joist hanger and ledger assembly, what are we going to say? Yeah, it's outside the red line. Yes, out outside the red line, outside the red line, right? It is that simple. It's not rocket science, it's building science. Build the box and then add the stuff to it on the outside. Don't interrupt my red line. Make my red line continuous around the building and then add the stuff on the outside of my red line. And then we get really good air tightness numbers. We get really good comfort. We control the condensing surface on the inside of that wall because our insulating sheathing is continuous. So there's a lot of great things happening here other than just that thermal break of the R6, right? We have a water management issue and then I control condensing surfaces. We have an air tightness issue in that this is connected through and none of this stuff penetrates my exterior air barrier, which is the zip. We have really good vapor control. My walls has the ability to dry to the inside, some limited drying to the outside, but again, I'm keeping that surface inside the wall warm and keeping it continuous and keeping it airtight. And if it's airtight, we don't get nearly as much moisture 
um, through vapor diffusion as we would through air transported moisture. So we're limiting our risk. So there's a whole bunch of reasons why we build the red box and add stuff to it. There's a whole bunch of reasons why we build outside of the red line. So if anything, we're going to learn in the next 10 years of me doing Build Show Network videos or more is we're going to build outside the red line and we're going to come to understand what the number one killer of buildings is. Anyways, hope you enjoyed today. But Big Red and I, we're done. Build outside the red line. Right. Big Red is going to bed. Poet didn't even know it. See what I did there? times so gotta pay attention gotta hang with me here um anyways big red knows the difference between inside and outside hopefully uh we know a little bit better about it today too so anyways hopefully you enjoyed that video um if you're looking for more build show network um we have uh you know me personally i have over a year's worth of videos there Science says got to watch them seven times before you get all the information out of them. So, and with me is uh, good buddies, Matt, Jake, Wade, Brent. And then uh, we have a whole bunch of new contributors that are slowly becoming just contributors and the newness of that shiny penny's wearing off. So, but uh, Detmore, Drywall Shorty, Mechanical Hub, and Design Build Doug all on board, all on, throwing some videos your way, all exciting stuff, all relevant stuff, all current stuff. Should be watching them. Should be watching them seven times. If you're done with uh, watching them all seven times and you still want more, you can find me on Instagram, Steve Basic Architect. I'm there. I'm dropping information daily. Um, my daughter, Alexandra Basic, dropping stuff daily. She works with me. And, uh, and if you're still in search of more, well, we got that beautiful Unbuild It podcast where I team up with good friends Jake and Peter Yost. And uh, we have at it. We have a lot of fun. Those guys try and team up on me. I'm a big guy, though. I fight back. And uh, But we talk building industry. We talk business. We talk building science. We talk our favorite books. We talk uh, about how old Peter is. But anyways... Go so check it out. Unbuild the podcast. Build Show Network. All those contributors. Watch the videos. I'll see you around. Until next time. Long live our buildings. Guys, big thanks to Steve Basic for today's video. If you don't know, Steve has been with the Build Show since the get-go. It's been four or five years now that he's been publishing videos on a weekly basis. And he's the only architect I've ever seen out there that will take you in the field and show you his design under construction, but then take you back, just like you saw earlier, see the overhead camera and actually show you the details. If you're a young architect, an old architect, you're thinking about becoming an architect, Steve is an absolute gem in the industry. And I love him as a builder because I always learn something. You should be following Steve on Instagram. You should go check out his channel on thebuildshow.com and catch up on all his content. He's a gem. I love him, and you should be watching all of his videos. With that being said, guys, hit that subscribe button. We've got more content, including this Tuesday Best Of series. We'll see you next time on The Build Show.